Hey, it's Chad HD, host of the Chad HD Show, which airs weekday mornings, 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time on News Talk 95.1 FM, 7.90 a.m. KFYO. Invite you to tune in uh, here in the West Texas area. If you're not in West Texas and you can't pick us up uh, over the air on 95.1 FM or on 7.90 a.m. KFYO, you can listen online at KFYO. Dot com. Well, the children are still marching against Donald Trump. They're very unhappy uh, against the results of the election. Over the weekend, we saw protests in places like Las Vegas, where if you're protesting against a U.S. election and you're carrying the flag of Mexico or any other country, um, I'm probably not going to give you any respect. You're an idiot if you're protesting against a U.S. election and carrying the flag of another country. Get over yourselves. If you don't like it, get the hell out, especially if you're carrying the flag of a different country. Leave. Go. Bye. See you later. Uh, Donald Trump, let's, let's go through an update here. Uh, Donald Trump, uh, most likely is not going to do this mass deportation. Most likely it was never going to happen. What Donald Trump is going to do, and this was confirmed by Donald Trump and Paul Ryan, is that, uh, we're going to throw the people out of this country who, uh, are not only illegal immigrants, but they have committed crimes while being here in the U.S. Uh, they've been convicted of those crimes. Here in the United States, uh, Donald Trump says that will uh, deport about two to three million uh, illegal criminal, illegal immigrants. Uh, I think that's something that uh, we can all agree with. Uh, at least we should be able to agree with that. But these protests that are going on, listen. Um, I've got no problem with people who protest. Uh, you absolutely have a right to peaceful assembly uh, here in the country. You want to blow off a little steam. You want to march. You want to carry signs talking about how um, uh, about how Donald Trump is mean and Donald Trump is going to get rid of Obamacare and Donald Trump's going to do this, do that. You want to carry those signs, that's fine, whatever. I think you look childish. I think you look pretty stupid. Uh, but, hey, it's your right to do so. What I don't believe you have a right to do is to block traffic. You don't have a right to screw with other people's property. You don't have a right to break windows. You don't have a right to go through parking lots uh, with baseball bats and golf clubs and knock out windows of cars. You don't have a right to do that. Uh, and it shows that you're really a, a pile of, of trash uh, if you do that. Um, the people who are protesting, they didn't get their way. And many of them come from the trophy, the participation trophy generation. Maybe if we would have given Hillary Clinton a participation trophy, some of these people would have been okay. Um, but listen, you win an election, you lose an election. You know what you do afterwards? Yeah, you complain, you can debate, you can talk about how you don't like the policies of the president, of the incoming president, but you get over it, you move on, and you regroup for next time. Uh, you didn't see conservatives taking to the streets after Barack Obama won twice. You didn't see conservatives marching around and breaking crap uh, and, and saying, he's not my president. You didn't have that crap breaking out. You have it now because you have a bunch of people who are bunch, acting like a bunch of petulant little children uh, who didn't get their way, and now they want to bitch and moan about it. Uh, listen, go ahead, complain, do all of that if you want to. Now there's a protest being scheduled for Lubbock, which, by the way, the protest that's being scheduled for Lubbock, uh, they're going to have this apparently Friday, January 20th from 6 to 9 p.m. Um, okay, well, it's going to be a little cold. Don't know how many people will actually turn out for that. Uh, it's Inauguration Day, so you're a little too late in your protest. Uh, and also... They don't want free speech. How do I know this? Because the organizers of the event, uh, all I did was follow them on Twitter and follow them on Facebook, and I got blocked immediately. They don't want free speech. They don't care about free speech. They want their way and their way only. They're typical liberals. They act like they're open-minded. They talk about how open-minded they are until someone disagrees with them. Then they become closed-minded. You have a, a disagreement on policy with a liberal, they will shut down so fast it's not even funny. Uh, watching some of the coverage this weekend was unbelievable. Uh, liberals right now need to suck it up, grow up, get ready for the next election, because guess what? 
Donald Trump is going to be the next president. And you know what? There are going to be times where I'm not going to be happy with what he decides. You're not going to be happy with what he decides. But that's why we have public debate. Uh, that's why we have pe we have elections in this country to hold our politicians' feet to the fire and to send a message. You don't like it? Well, time to grow up and get over yourselves. Tune in to the Chad Hasty Show weekday mornings, 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time on News Talk 95.1 FM, 790 a.m. KFYO. Have a great day. Follow me on Twitter, Chad Hasty Radio.